Spending black is not a new concept. Spending black or circulating money within the black community can be traced back as far as 1921, when in the USA, a black Wall Street was formed in Tulsa, Oklahoma. During the height of racial segregation, wild mobs ran riot through the prosperous black neighborhood. By the morning of the 1st of June, 1921, an estimated 300 black people had been killed, more than 1,000 homes destroyed, and the thriving business district burned. Fast forward to the 60s, and black people were not even allowed in some shops in the UK, let alone to buy a premises to start a business. Larger banks refused the black community business loans, and in response, black Caribbeans set up England's first ever credit union. It helped Windrush immigrants settle in London, access loans, and finally begin building black businesses. But to this day, black-owned businesses in the UK face tougher challenges than most. The most recent UK government figures show that black Africans and Caribbeans are still four times more likely to have their business loan applications rejected than Indian and white business owners. According to a Gov UK report, black people are way more likely to work multiple jobs to fund businesses themselves. And although black people have recently been reported to be three times more likely to start a business than white people, they are also more likely to fail to get it off the ground. 